it's learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you an easy camera shake effect. Ideally you want to use that synchronized to an audio file and most often it is used for the bass. So at first put some footage and an audio file into your timeline. Let me cut this audio file and I'll just use a segment from the middle that you've seen and heard in the intro. And now I'll create markers where the bass is. I'll simply let it roll. So press space for that and then press the M key whenever you want to have such a camera shake effect. As I've said, you may want to use the bass to synchronize audio and video file. Afterwards, right click new item and adjustment layer. It now should have the same size as your video footage. Place the adjustment layer in your timeline, it should be above the video file. Now we need the directional blur in the effects panel. Drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. Go to effect controls if you can't see that. Just go to windows and click on it. And we need to adjust the directional blur length. So open the drop down and then increase it. You don't want to go too far. Let me try 100. I'll go down. It was already too much. But 80 should be fine for this footage. Now let me zoom in. So I hold Alt and use the mouse wheel. And now I simply cut it with every frame. So I'll just use the arrow keys to the right hand side to go one step, one frame forward. And then I use the cut tool, press C for that and create these little cuts. Let me delete the big one at the end and now I delete every frame in between. Let me play that and you can see it's this typical camera shake effect. You can adjust the length of it by having more of these segments or you may want to have less. Just delete one. Now go to every marker, select the former group, then hold Alt and you can copy that and drag it to the next marker. And it's the easiest way to create such a camera shake effect that's synchronized to audio in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.